So Margaret Marcilla is a mother who lives outside Toronto, Canada. She's got a 23-year-old son who suffers from depression and diabetes. Also, he doesn't have a girlfriend. On that basis alone, doctors have just approved her son's assisted suicide. A doctor called Joshua Tepper signed off on it to kill the boy because he's sad and doesn't have a girlfriend. We know this because of the Substack Common Sense. You can read the details, and you should. They're shocking. This is about to become a lot more common in Canada as a way of cutting down on health care costs. By March, a new law in Canada is expected to allow children to be killed by doctors, by state doctors, without the approval of their parents. This seems like a very big change in Western civilization. Charles Camacy is a professor at Creighton School of Medicine. He's the author of Losing Our Dignity. He joins us tonight. Um, I, I sure appreciate your coming on to assess this. We've had this conversation multiple times, and each time we do, we reach a new and more terrifying load. Doctors killing kids without telling their parents because the kids are depressed? Let's see if I have the laundry list right, Tucker, at this point. We've got kids now, or what they call mature minors. We've got the homeless, we talked about that last time, the poor, the disabled, those with chronic pain, um, and then right before coming on, I researched the physicians group in Quebec that wants to kill newborn infants. That's what's coming next. The Toronto Star, Tucker, a very liberal paper in Canada, called this Hunger Games Social Darwinism. This is what happens, Tucker, when a, um, autonomy just goes nuts. I mean, you hate to, I, I really try never to invoke the Nazis because, you know, for many reasons. But they are famous for doing this exact thing. Use doctors to murder the weakest in your society. And I thought that doctors kind of agreed after the Second World War not to do things like this. Yeah, you would think. And I'm the same way. I think we should be very, very hesitant to use those arguments. But at a certain point, Tucker, um, if the shoe fits, we Canada has to wear it. Now, the question is, can we stop this from coming to the United States? It hasn't got here yet. And I think we can. For instance, New York, Connecticut, even deep blue states like that have not... Uh, legalize even assisted suicide yet. And so what we need to do, Tucker, and all your listeners need to do this, is support in whatever way you can health care that is about caring, uh, yes. not killing. In fact, there is a coalition of people. There's a coalition of people coming up with a brand new medical school, the Padre Pio School of Medicine in 2026, that is going to do this very clearly, very ably. And if others would like to join a coalition of people who are doing this, I urge them to send me a message through my website, charleskamosi.com, or through Twitter, because we have to get off the couch and do something about this for those of us that see the writing on the wall here. Shouldn't the American Medical Association weigh in and just say unequivocally, doctors in the United States don't get to kill children just because children are depressed? A doctor's job is to help people, make them better, not to kill them, give up on them when they're kids. <laughs> Well, as I wrote at length in Losing Our Dignity, Tucker, we have a very, very different health care system than we had even 20 or 30 years ago. It is hyper um, secularized. It is often based on cost benefit analyses, even something called quality adjusted life years, which is basically ableism. We've had a lot of talk about ableism over the last couple of days. This is ableism right here. And it's no accident that the disability rights groups are our biggest allies in this. We should continue to employ them as, again, we get up off the couch here and fight. Yeah, amen. Get off the couch and fight. That's exactly right. Professor Charles Camacy, thank you, as always. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.